welcome to this video on minimalist baby essentials, whatever you want to call it. I'm literally just giving you the bare minimum. My husband plays a professional sport, so we move all the time. And that is kind of what stemmed and forced us into this more minimalistic point of view. I hope that in today's video I can give you some insight on what you actually need, what you don't need, and how you can use a couple things in multiple situations so you don't have to buy a bunch of little things, you just use one thing a bunch of times. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Thank you for being here, I hope you have a great day and I hope this helps you. I do have it on a notepad. I don't wanna be wrong, you know, I wanna give you the real stuff, okay? I am focusing on your baby, so zero to six, eight months, right here. These are the items that you're gonna need. You're definitely gonna need a crib. Whatever kind of crib you decide, that's up to you. I just use a porter crib that is a convertible one. So when they're young, you can put them in the bassinet. When they're older, you move them to a porter crib. But we didn't get this until like I knew we were gonna be in a certain place. So that's totally up to you. You can get a crib like this, or you can just use a porter crib slash bassinet, one that all goes together. You're gonna need that regardless for travel. Crib sheets are also essential. I like the Burt's Bees Organic brand. And then totally your call, but uh, pacifiers would go under this category. We tried no pacifiers for a couple weeks and then uh, let's just say we needed them. So we got a pacifier and a little clip so that when we travel, he wouldn't drop it on the bottom of the airplane floor. You know where that gets us. Totally forgot, you're definitely gonna need a monitor. I think you know that, but I forgot to say that in my sleeping portion. Hope that helps. Next, moving on to clothes. Honestly, you don't need a lot for a newborn. Most of the time, they're swaddled and they're sleeping anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. You really need five onesies, short sleep onesies. Obviously, you can change this for different seasons of the year. And then I would get three or four footy pajamas so that you don't have to buy socks. At night, I would just put them in footies so that they are fully warm. On top of those two things, I would get a halo swaddle. I would get one to two of these. They are swaddles so that you don't actually have to get blankets. Bonus tip for these halo swaddles, the husband is so capable of swaddling if you do this. Anyone is capable of swaddling if you just use this halo swaddle. Instead of having to teach them how to fold, yada yada yada, you just zip them up and then you fold them in tightly and there you go. We actually got this from the hospital we were at in St. Louis and we loved it so much we got another one. On the topic of clothing, that's literally all I would buy. If you're in the winter time, get them one to two jackets, sweaters, something like that. And what I was saying is while I'm on this topic, I would definitely recommend Better Life or Eco's laundry detergent. Those are both two great non-toxic brands that don't have any scents. Definitely stay away from toxic, heavily scented laundry detergent. So let's move on to the eating slash breastfeeding category. I breastfed, and obviously they don't eat whole foods till about six months. So I breastfed, I used the Medela handheld breast pump. It's the only one that I actually liked. I have done the automatic one, but you can really get more milk if you're using your hand and this handheld breast pump. You're also gonna need milk storage bags. scrubby brush for your bottles I also have bottles on hand definitely prefer glass over plastic you don't want toxic plastic chemicals leaching into your baby's breast milk I would recommend either a blanket or a nursing cover if you use a nursing cover you can definitely use that as a car seat cover as well so you can get two uses out of one product I would definitely recommend one to two blankets. You don't really need burp cloths. If you have a blanket around, you can use that. I think it's a muslin swaddle blanket where they're kind of stretchy. You can use it as a burp cloth. Obviously, if you have a spitter, you're going to need to invest in burp cloths, but you're not gonna know that until they are born. I really just used a blanket and I just washed a blanket every single day, made it super simple, wasn't carrying around a bunch of burp cloths. Travel, you're gonna need a car seat. I just have the Chico Key Fit 
car seat that fits into any type of juvie stroller, which is really, really nice. J-O-O-V-Y, I'll link all these things below so you have them. But you wanna get a stroller that can hold pretty much any carrier, that makes it very easy. Juvie is also not expensive. Along with travel, like I said before, I would get a porta crib just in case you wanted to take a night off and you wanna leave your baby with your mom or your dad, it's just nice to have on hand. That's the only thing our kids grew up and we didn't even have a crib for a while, so it works great. You're gonna need a diaper bag. This is the one that I use. When it comes to diaper bags, I'm just like, let's get the cheapest. It's gonna be gross anyway. It's gonna get a ton of use. This just has a bunch of pockets. It's really helpful. And then inside the diaper bag, obviously you need diaper and wipes. We didn't do cloth diapering because we travel so much and we're actually living in other people's houses. So we just ended up using regular diapers and wipes. If you're gonna get a booty cream, I definitely would have one on hand. Beauty Counter has the best ingredients and the best highest performing one that I've ever experienced. So I would definitely recommend Beauty Counter's diaper cream. And that's pretty much all I put in a diaper bag. I keep it as simple as possible. No toys. You gotta get the pacifier with the clip. If you are using a pacifier, make sure you have a clip. Uh, diapers, wipes, a blanket. That's pretty much what I keep in there. Anything else is for me. Maybe my keys, my wallet, my phone, a snack. Duh. I don't have a baby bath. I just let him, and this is a disclaimer, I'm not telling you to do this, but this is what I do. I just let Gunner play in the bathtub. And at the very, very beginning, I would just put him in water when it was only filled up about an inch. I'm all for just doing free bath time. Obviously, you have to watch them very closely. Soaps, Beauty Counter also has an incredible baby soap that I would highly recommend. Also, Dr. Bronner's, I think that's what it's called, has a great non-scented soap as well. Definitely stay away from harsh chemicals. They put numbing agents in baby products, but Beauty Counter has a balanced pH and that's what protects your baby from getting sting, stingy, soapy eyes. So they have really good ingredients there. Miscellaneous, you don't need a bunch of baby carriers. I would say the best one to use is a Solly. It's a little complicated at first, but once you get it down, it is like clockwork. I wore both of my babies in my Solly literally as much as I could. One, it's very comforting for them to be close to your heart and be warm and skin to skin. That's also the position that they're used to in the womb. So there are so many benefits. I'm sure you could look up a bunch of articles saying how good it is to wear your babies. So I would definitely, definitely recommend a Solly. Two books I would recommend, Vaccine Friendly Planned and 40 Days Postpartum. Both just give you so much information. The vaccine book is unbiased. It just gives you straight up facts because if you're gonna be vaccinating your children, you need to know what you're putting in them. I'm not saying go one way or the other. I'm just saying educate yourself. That's the best thing we can do for our children is to educate ourselves before we do anything in the medical world. You like this book? book is 40 days postpartum super important because it's all about healing your body because the 40 days after yes it's so exciting you have a new baby but it's super important to heal yourself correctly if you want to be healthy and in turn be able to take care of your baby properly with the proper amount of energy and nutrition so much good information I would definitely recommend these two books I did end up buying one baby seat and it was just an incline little baby bouncer type thing. It wasn't the expensive one. I literally got it for 20 bucks on Amazon. I was pretty against any type of baby holder because I wanted Gunner to develop organically and on his own and figure out how to move instead of just placing him somewhere. So this was really great if I was just in a pinch and needed to put him somewhere to cook dinner. This is what I used and it was super helpful. Last category is emergencies. If they have any type of stomach bubbles or gassiness, I used gripe water, organic gripe water on Gunner, and it really helped. Again, I'm not telling you to use any of these things. I'm not a doctor, but that is what has worked for us. I mentioned diaper cream. That's also on my emergency list. Thermometer, for sure. It's always good to have this around.
have your, your pediatrician and your chiropractor's number on hand at all times. Whoever's at your house, husband, you, make sure you have that and you know exactly where it is so in an emergency, you know where to go. Ah, my favorite part of the video is telling you what you don't need and it's really all the frou-frou, rockers, press this button and this happens, baby socks, a lot of clothes, all the things that are super, super cute. If you wanna be minimal, just let them be. Get the absolute necessities. Okay, there's gonna be so much going on in your life. Being minimal while you are adjusting and your family is adjusting and your house is adjusting and your pets are adjusting is going to help you immensely. The more stuff you have, the more stress it's gonna be on your entire household, your life, and your baby's life. I would just do the minimal and let them just develop on their own. It really is a beautiful process and that's what they were created to do. I hope this list helped you and if you have any questions, please comment below. I'll try to link everything down below for you. I also just wish you the best of luck. This is the most exciting time and your instincts are gonna kick in and you're gonna do such a great job. Good luck, mama, and I'll see you in my next video. Love